Man, I ever tell you how much I love the overworld theme to Final Fantasy 3? Because this remix is... Mm, it's top-notch. It's really good stuff. But, you know, I could reminisce all day. In fact, I probably will, but you know what? I got I got actual plot to get to, you know? This was World of Final Fantasy. All of this! And we got some meat and potato plot to get into, so let's do it! The moment Seronia joined the Federation, things around here took a turn for the worse. What could the Thane possibly be thinking? Oh yeah, the Thane. Isn't that Ruffia's uncle? Uncle Taka? By the way, in Final Fantasy 3, he was a blacksmith. He was no Thane. Also, he wasn't anywhere remotely close to Seronia. And Seronia was like a large town. It was like five cities. I hate worrying about my civic rank. Normally, I wouldn't give two shakes of a chocobo's tail feather. Now that the Federation sent you to the slums, if you don't try to raise it, you have a choice. Oh man, that's like cohesion right there, you know. Do it, or you go into the slums. Can you believe it? If we raise our civic rank, we can spend the rest of our lives in a castle, wanting for nothing. I've got to get cracking on my own rank if I want to be an architect. <laughs> You know, from the sound of it, they must have joined up with the Federation pretty recently. I think now I'm starting to see what Princess Sarah meant. Well, for now, why don't we see if we can go talk to that Thane guy about the League of S? I'm probably wasting my breath, but try to watch what you say around here. Uh, sure. Looks like the Thane's manor is at the very tippity the top of the town. Let's move! It's the Oh man, well I guess it's time to go confront Taka, cause you know, there's cohesion, the architect thing, which is really weird, but it sounds like a dream job, and, and poverty, and everything's all messed up. I said for you to scram, kid! Will you just listen to what I have to say? Is that... Refia? Uh, you caught up! What's going on here? They giving you trouble? I already told them that the Thane is my uncle. I'm not allowed to talk to my own flesh and blood now? I don't care who you're supposed to be, because you ain't seeing him. Dude, what? Well, you see, sir, we are here to meet the Thane on behalf of Princess Sarah of Cornelia. Have a look for yourselves. That's the Cornelian seal. What now? I expected better from you, considering you're practically our neighbors. Yeah, you tell him, Rain. Cornelia's got giants for emissaries? They got some kind of royal Cornelia thing with them. What? You sure? Beats me. You gonna send them packing and take the risk? Wait here. I'll go check with his thane ship. The thane says he'll see you. Let's go, Refia. Huh? Hey, the girl stays here. Refi is part of our entourage. That's right. She just anteceded us. What? Toodaloo. Thank you, guys. You're always there for me. No big deal. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a lie. We were all heading in more or less the same direction. Must be the giant emissaries from Cornelia. Oh, uh, yes. We're here to. I hear the Federation finally gave up and just invaded them. Are you telling me the invasion failed? Hmm? Are you here to ask for my help? Yes, they did try to invade, but for the moment. Who are you? Hmm? Why, Refia? Is that you? Who are you? My dear, please. It's me, your uncle. No! You are not Uncle Taka! Wait, sorry, what? <laughs> then I was right. If you've managed to see through this facade, then there's no mistake. You are a medium. Yes, I was wise to make sure you left town, and to ensure that you never returned. Where's Uncle Taka? Why, he's standing right in front of you. Make no mistake, little girl. This is your uncle. 
How intriguing. This must be an act of fate. The giants from the hills here, and with them, a champion's medium. And not just any medium, one that bleeds the same blood as this body. <laughs> it's more than fate. It has to be destiny. How can I not rise to it? That answers that. He's the one who put up the threshold here. He just the change sizes the way that you two do. So, is he a Bahamutian soldier? Well, he's nothing like the ones we fought so far. Be careful. So Uncle Taka was evil all along, and a shapeshifter, and in league with the Federation. Or it's not Uncle Taka, but it is Uncle Taka, but <laughs> my brain hurts. You know what, I'm gonna kick its ass, because this is a boss fight. But unfortunately, aside from bravery, I don't think there's much it can do. On the other hand, I see a subtle reference to Final Fantasy III. See, there's two statues in the background by the window. That's in the shape of a boss from Final Fantasy 3. And if I remember correctly, the whole situation with that boss, and if I remember correctly, that was Veruta. And the whole situation with that boss fight was actually very similar to this one in the sense that you had to expose someone for being like some sort of weird doppelganger in disguise. And then you had to fight it. But I remember, unlike this battle, that battle was actually challenging because it had a high power attack or spell or something that could instantly KO one of your party members if you weren't prepared for it. I digress. This battle, piece of cake. Already whooped his ass. He's down. He's down for the count. I win. Too strong, bro. Can't defeat me. Why are you stopping? Show me more. Does fate find us? Has destiny aligned us? Show me! Sir Shikwardis! What? Why are you? You are a fool. To so much as inquire. An imbecile beyond belief to let a medium to champion fire! Uh, okay. That's not good. Away from death. Away from life, Lacey. Contain them all. You'll be... Quick, this way! Huh? Huh? Isn't that the same? Well, are you guys coming or not? <laughs> The gods would caution us. Is this a sign that we'll not go unchallenged? That there's no way to know the pieces are alive? <laughs> Whew, that was too close. Shalada, thank you. Huh? huh? I just knew you would get yourselves in trouble. And boy, did you prove me right. Uh, what do you call that creepy trick? You're the creepy one here. Unbelievable. <sighs> would you just put these on, then take another look at the town? <gasps> what the honk? Huh? Is that coming out of the sky? Listen to me! the turn. Hey, Rebia, you should have a look too. How do you explain this? Don't expect any help from me on that one. After all, not even the visitor who left those monocles at my inn could tell me exactly what it's showing us or how. From what I was told, every member state in the Federation is trussed up like this. So, I thought I'd bring the lenses here, but maybe I didn't have to. The Thane was visibly crazy. What in Grimoire is going on? <sighs> okay, guess we'll file that one under no one knows. 
So what do we do? We came here to ask about the League of Vess, but all we found was a lot more questions. Sorry, did you say the League of S? That's right. <coughs> oh, if that's all it is, then maybe I can help you out. You can? Oh, sure. I know a few people right here in Seronia who should be able to get in touch with the League. I'll ask them to pass on your message. Do you mean it? Thank you! Charlotta's been around a lot longer than she looks, so she knows tons of people. Isn't that great? Don't you talk about my age. <laughs> so, like, what's with you and the catamorphosis? That is a very long story that I don't feel like telling. But I will say this. Cats get around. Huh? Yep. Oh. Uh, that's cool. Yep. So, the real question is, what are you two planning to bite off next? We've still got a lot to puzzle over. But now that the League of Vest thing is settled, I think we'd better resume our quest to find mirages. Yeah. Plus, we've got that castle. And Mom to track down along the way, too. Sounds pretty good to me. From here, the best place to go next would have to be the Low Seas. In which case, you basically have no choice but to find a boat down at the docks. I guess this is the last town on the continent. Okay, then. We'll figure something out. So what about you two? Are you coming back to the Solace, Refia? The wolves have been taken care of now, so the only thing to fight off is the cold. Sure. I need some time to digest this business with Uncle Taka. The Solace sounds great. If you'll have me. Of course I will. Well, you two, thank you so much for everything. Best of luck in all your adventures. Thanks. Take care. Hey, Charlotta. Thanks for stepping in to help. Sure. Speaking of stepping in, I don't suppose you were planning to make it up to me for trouncing on my tail? <gasps> oh, so that really was you. Gosh, I was kind of hoping you'd forget. Oh, so chains? A nine of the gold mask is evil? Um, shall I just over... Hey, a new metal! <laughs> Sorry, viewers, my brain's trying to comprehend everything and it's not quite able to. I digress. I'll reflect on that later. Right now, I think what's important is that we go back to the tea room, because who knows? Aside from getting a new metal, which we all want, I'm pretty sure there might just be some new side quests to do. And let's be honest, side quests are very rewarding and they give us stuff. And who doesn't like stuff? I do! Consider me a hoarder because I'm going to take it all. Chapter 8, Buccaneer Blues. So let's see. Repia said to borrow a boat at the docks and head to the low seas. Well then, why don't we try asking around town? And see if anyone's renting them out. Well, I guess I know the pl next plot objective I gotta do. I gotta go ask all these people. Hey, got a boat? I need a boat. I need a boat. Aside from that, though, I mean, like, I'm going to the tea room. Y'all know where I'm going. I gotta go back to Nine Hills. But I guess I'll end the part here, because, I mean, really, there's not a whole lot to observe. So, next time. Tea room. Who knows? Might just be filler. I apologize in advance. <laughs>